from now onwards we are going to continue with our front end part and in this lecture we are going to see how to set up front end and we will be working on router so back end we have completed later on when we do razor pay setup again we will come to this back end now we are going to work on this front end first i will open terminal now i will come inside front end folder so here type cd front end now inside this folder we are going to set up a react app using vit for that right here npm create vit at latest and then we have to give the app name i have to install in the same folder front end so here i will pass dot click on y so that we can proceed and from here i will select the framework react hit enter and i will be selecting javascript if you want to use typescript or if you want to use tailwind accordingly you can install the packages now inside this front end i am having this folder set up now first what i have to do i have to run this npm install so here i will be writing npm install and after that we have to run this npm run dev let me copy and wait for this installation okay now inside front end folder i am having node modules and in the root also we are having node modules now you might have question why we are having different node modules because in the root what we are having in this we will have all the packages which are dependent only for back end and inside this front end we are going to have the packages which will be dependent to our react and later on separately if you want to deploy back end and front end that also you can easily perform if you are having separate node modules for front end and back end now i will paste the command npm run dev hit enter now i will be having this link press control and click on this link now you can see my app is open and this will be the default coding which we will be having in our vid now close this first i will open index.html from here i will change the title i will write e-commerce merge project you can give any title i will open src from here i'm just going to delete this app.css and also i do not need this assets delete this i will come to main.jsx inside this we have rendered app and from app i will remove entire thing write rfce here i will write h1 as of now i will be writing e-commerce website save this come here now you can see i am having this e-commerce website now i will come to index.css from here i'm just going to remove all the stylings now successfully my title is displayed now again i will open terminal click on plus open new terminal inside this first i will come inside front end now i'm going to install react router dom for that npm i react hyphen router hyphen dom so using this we can easily define routes in our application packages installed to check that open package.json inside this dependencies we are going to have this entry now close this i will come to app.jsx inside this here i will be writing router inside this router i will be passing routes and inside this routes i am going to define my first route here i will be writing route then we have to give the path if i am inside this home folder then here i will be passing element which element i have to redirect i have to redirect to home page let me just close in this way and inside src i will be creating one folder pages 
Inside these pages, I will be creating this file home.jsx and here I will write RFCE. Inside this, I will be passing home. Now come to app.jsx and then I am just going to close this route. Now whatever components we are using, we have to import. So here I will write import home from inside these pages, we are having home.jsx. Then below this import browser router as I will specify the name as router which we are using here. Then I have to import this routes copy paste. Then I have to import this route copy and paste. And from where we are importing, we are importing from React Router DOM. Let me just write here React Router DOM. So in this way, we are going to import first install the package and inside app we are going to use all the component and inside this route we are telling in my route if i am having slash that means i have to display my home page and inside home simply i have passed the text as home now i will come here you can see successfully i am able to get the text home let me increase the size now here in the URL, if I give slash, then also I will be redirected to home page. Successfully, we have completed front end setup for this project.